all right uh, this is the new deck I've been messing around with my Sahili deck and what we're trying to accomplish is Sahili's ultimate and with encroaching mycosynth making everything artifacts we're gonna get that little buff but the deck consists of protect the negotiators it is a nice little counter spell where I can create a little 1-1 one, one token and forces the opponent to pay one additional mana for each creature I control so with the explosion it's pretty much a guaranteed counter Yosha declares war this is another really good one as you can create a 0-2 colorless thopter but on the second part you can tap a whole bunch of artifacts and do that amount of damage to target creature or planeswalker and by that time you'll have a lot of little tokens and everything will be artifacts so you can take care of whatever it is on the field that's bothering you then we have the third path iconoclast to create the actual artifact creatures he'll pop off real nice we also use the mech titan core it's more of uh, an opportunity to put something really really big on the field to force uh, your opponent to have to deal with something or an easy quick win if you uh, have it on your turn you know you just need a big bit of it a big bit of damage to actually kill them we also have white sun's twilight in case you need some life some more token guys but it's also a nice little field wipe if uh, you know you find yourself in a nice little spot where you need to clear the uh, board off. We also use wedding announcements uh, for the tokens and the plus one plus one when it turns into the festivities. It's a really good card. We're also running in the trenches to get us an additional plus one plus one. But also give us a chance to exile something like uh, anybody that's wanting to run the obliterators and all that. So it's a, a nice way to get rid of them. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker is just an amazing card. And, you know, you have red. Why do you not run it? Then we have Malkator, Purity Overseer. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if three or more artifacts enter the battlefield under your control, create a 3-3 colorless uh, Frixian Golem artifact. This will actually happen quite often uh, once you have out uh, once you have out the encroaching Mycosynth. So you'll actually be making quite a bit of 3-3s, which will jump you know with your wedding festivities and into the trenches over here. We also use uh, Mondrak because he doubles the tokens, which, you know, puts out more guys. More guys, more wins, right? Uh, Wandering Emperor for basic protection, but it's also nice for the token just in case. Encroaching Mycosynth, non-land permanents you control are artifacts in addition to their other types. Uh, the same is true for permanent spells you control, non-land permanent cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. So this is what's going to make everything artifacts and kind of blow them up. So kind of an important card. You want to try and keep it on the field. Uh, Urza's Command. Uh, multitude of uses. Uh, I like to use it for the creating a tapped colorless construct. And the creature's a plus one plus uh, one for each artifact you control. So you can put out a really gnarly dude. Uh late game or you know build them up early game and scrying and drawing is not bad either then we have Sahili who we want to get up and use her ultimate as soon as possible so that way all your uh, everything in your deck will cost one less because of the encroaching mycosynth makes everything artifacts great card uh, we're also running eternal wanderer because you know eternal wanderer is amazing the double strike token is great and even her minus four ultimate ability will help you clear off a field if you need to you know if you're starting to get overrun you know she can help you save you there uh for lands we use the same old utilities like aganjo otawara and sokinson because you never know when you need them and then we use a bunch of dual lands like deserted beach sea chrome coast shivan reef Storm-carved coast, 
Battlefield Forge, and Sundown Pass. Well, I really like this deck. It's it's pretty fun to play, so give it a shot if you want. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.
Thank you.